Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over books that I recommend to you guys. So basically, today we're going to be go going over a few books that I've read, have liked, and I think other people would like too. Some of these books may be like a very, well, famous, like for example, Harry Potter and such, right? But the other, but other ones may not be so heard of. But, um, like, never... List they are nevertheless they're still really good so we're gonna start off with uh, basically a really good one harry potter and i'm sure that either almost everyone and um, everyone knows what who that is and like what that series is but i'm gonna give you a little summary of it so harry potter is basically about harry a uh, orphan child of like basically whose parents were killed and he has to basically go through all these like trials and stuff to face off against uh, this dark wizard Voldemort. So that's basically a little summary, and like basically what happens is like all these little plots and like everything. But it's kind of like a what exactly like a it's basically a perfect storyline. I just loved it because like it gives an excellent story, and even if you read it multiple times, it still brings that same made like vibe of like newness and like. It's just really fun to read and additionally the uh, characters are really well built like they're well described and you can actually like visualize them in your head really easily so it may seem like Harry Potter is like a really really big book so like you cannot read that but like sometimes it can be actually good for beginners because as it's really well described and like the odd the it's really easy to visualize in your head so really it's a really good book and then so let's continue on to my next one of my like favorite all-time favorite books oops what is the ascendance trilogy it's not often called by this name but really it's just filled with mystery plot twists and even though it's not like completely fantasy it doesn't have like magic and stuff you know like that but thing is that it's just wonderful. Like the mystery, the like you don't even know what's gonna happen. Like, if, for example, well, let's say the book's plot is pointing towards him, like failing to achieve this, but then turns out he's been plotting this whole time behind our backs, and we don't even know that he's just been doing all of this stuff, right? And then we do not even know that, and then like he just like reveals it at the end, and like yeah, it's just like really fun. So the Ascendance Trilogy is about this uh, uh, Prince Jaron. He basically starts off as not a prince, actually, because, like, it, there's all this, like, lore behind it, but, like, I'm just gonna say. So basically, he's at an orphanage, right? And he is basically fending for himself. And the king and the uh, royal family is basically dead, except for Prince Jaron. But the thing is that Prince Jaron is in hiding. Since a certain group sent to kill him, actually thinks that they killed him however they actually didn't he escaped so he he hides at his at the orphanage and then this noble just comes out comes to the orphanage to try to find somebody a copy of prince jaron so he can and basically rule over the throne and like behind the prince jaron like fake prince jaron but thing is he manages to get find the real prince jaron so Basically, the story goes like that, and then there's a bunch of other plots that go through per book. And I just really liked it for its mystery and, like, its plot twists. So, continuing on. So, for my third, third book that I really recommend is Ranger's Apprentice. It's about this um, orphan named Will. He never knew his parents, but, like, if what happens is that he actually, like, he is in an orphanage. And he, when he's, like, he is known for, because he's, like, really short and, like, really small in general, right? So when he becomes an apprentice to a ranger, which in that world is, like, a ranger is basically somebody who maintains the peace. And each fief or, like, each city has a ranger to carry out tasks to keep the people protected. And rangers are surrounded in an era of, like, like era of mist, mystery and, like, strength. 
and yeah so basically he goes through like i noticed a pattern personally that like every two books he goes through a new plot like it's kind of like it, that way there's like more than there's like eight plots in the book like or at least close to that right so really i just really like this book because as it just has a great mm, idea like for example will is a ranger like the ranger idea like i really like the fact that it's kind of uh, very creative and plus the first person i love first person and third person is a great like way to emphasize the character and stuff like that right but i personally really love a uh, first person that's another reason why i really liked it additionally the character development is great just like one of the best ever and uh, yeah that's about it for my top three favorite books it's hard to rank them which one's better because like all of them are just like really good so yeah that's about it i'm gonna be continuing this video with the uh, from top four to top six basically my top four top five top six books and then the next video please come back for the next video and don't forget to subscribe down below and yeah bye guys